How to make Kevlar at home. If you're curious about making Kevlar at home, you're likely wondering about the process and the feasibility of replicating this strong synthetic material in a DIY setting. Let's break down the details to see if it's something you can actually do. First is as a synthetic aromatic polyamide polymer, which means it's made from long chains of molecules with strong ring-like structures. This material is produced through a complex chemical process that involves specific monomers and solvents. To start, you would need the monomers 1,4-phenylenediamine and terephthaloyl chloride. These chemicals react in a condensation reaction to form the Kevlar polymer, producing hydrochloric acid as a byproduct. However, this reaction requires a solvent to keep the polymer in solution, and initially hexmethylphosphoramide HMPA was used, though it has been replaced due to safety concerns with a solution of N-methylpyrrolidone and calcium chloride. The process of making Kevlar involves wet spinning, where a concentrated, hot, and very viscous solution of the polymer is forced through an orifice similar to a showerhead with many holes. This aligns the polymer chains in the direction of the fiber, giving Kevlar its remarkable strength and stiffness. Here's the catch. This process is highly complex and involves hazardous chemicals like concentrated sulfuric acid, which is necessary to keep the water-insoluble polymer in solution during synthesis and spinning. Additionally, the equipment required for wet spinning is specialized and not something you'd typically find at home. Given the safety risks and the specialized equipment needed, making Kevlar at home is not feasible or safe. The production of Kevlar is best left to industrial settings where proper safety measures and equipment are available. If you're interested in working with Kevlar, you might consider purchasing pre-made Kevlar sheets or fibers and using them in projects like making body armor or composite materials, following proper safety guidelines and instructions. In summary, while the idea of making Kevlar at home is intriguing, it's not a project you can safely or practically undertake without the right equipment and expertise.